Wizards of the Coast over the years has done everything they can to sanitize their products. They've removed terms like race from Dungeons and Dragons because it's seen as offensive. They've catered products to sensitive snowflakes, and unfortunately, I don't see them changing anytime soon. And now they have made yet another major decision with D&D because they are now removing half species due to inherent racism. I have a few different things to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon or a supporter via YouTube membership. So starting with this Bounding Into Comics article, D&D to remove half species from the player's handbook claims the entire idea is inherently racist. So, in their latest step forward on their long march to lost profits, Wizards of the Coast has revealed that they will be removing the concept of half-species from the Dungeons & Dragons Player's Handbook on the grounds that they are not comfortable including an inherently racist concept in the game. This forthcoming update was first announced publicly at the recent D&D Creator Summit, an event wherein WotC gathered a number of notable personalities ranging from game developers to content creators and provided them with a sneak peek at Dungeons & Dragons upcoming releases. Now, unfortunately, I have had to cover D&D many times on this channel and not for positive reasons. They are constantly changing things within this game, and it's very unfortunate because I love Dungeons and Dragons at its core, just like I used to love Magic the Gathering at its core, but unfortunately these great games have now been kind of ruined by the company that holds on to them. Uh, they just do not understand what players really want. Eventually, the post-demo Q&A turned to the topic of their ongoing efforts to sanitize D&D, beginning with a question about how exactly the publisher makes use of their sensitivity readers. We don't send everything to the same people all the time, it was explained. Different reviewers have different areas of expertise and experience. Everything gets sent to at least two people, sometimes more. The old inclusion review process had holes in it because they would only send out what they thought would be a problem. Now everything is sent out, so we aren't guessing what might be a problem. They have had a group of sensitivity readers for a few years now, but now they have a team that is much larger, that looks over their content for offensive material, and the people who decided this is the review board they formed after the Hadozi controversy. It says, our team and our game designers and storytellers, we're not experts in culture and inclusion, he added. So we're focused on what damage should this creature do. That's why everything goes through inclusion review now, so everything in our game brings out delight. Even reprints are going through inclusion review. That's why some older books are changing too. They act like this is a good thing when to most players, it's not. Further elaborating on their process, he he said, we get a full report when then we address the issues identified. We have a conversation, then it goes back to the reviewer so they can see what we did. But now, of course, there is a brand new change in this game because Crawford confirms that due to the game now having four elf variants for players to choose from when creating a character, standard elves, high elves, wolf elves, and the drow, the player's handbook would soon be revised to do away with half species. Frankly, we are not comfortable and we haven't been for years with any of the options that start with half, he explained. The half construction is inherently racist, so we simply aren't going to include it in the new player's handbook. So yes, they are going to revise the player's handbook and going forward, half elves and half orcs will no longer exist. 
Now, it's funny because saying half species are racist is absurd and offensive. They're saying someone who is half of something is racist, but that is racist because there are people in real life who are half of something. Yes, we're talking about fantasy races here, but the concept of being half something is a very real one. And yes, you can still use the 2014 Player's Handbook and use these races if you want, but if you go through older content, you'll still be reading something or reading about characters who would be changed if they're brought back like Tannis from Dragonlance or even in the new movie. One of the characters who claims they're a descendant of Elminster, Simon Almar, is a half-elf, so it makes no sense to me why they'd put the race in the movie they got rid of only two weeks after releasing. Yes, the movie was written long before this change, but they could have simply changed his wiki to say elf instead of half elf. They they are just going complete clown world here. And like I mentioned, I've talked about Dungeons and Dragons a lot on this channel. Uh, Wizards of the Coast removes offensive Hadozi captivity lore from Dungeons and Dragons following accusations of racism. This was back in September of 2022, but it says they apologized and issued an errata for their recent addition of a captivity angle to uh, to the Dungeons and Dragons backstory of the race in after this new bit of lore was accused of being a racist caricature of black people and back in 2022 as well, Dungeons and Dragons to remove term race from game lexicon due to its prejudiced links between real world and fantasy people. They even are removing the term race because they've seen it as offensive. I mean, they are completely sanitizing this game. And this is why I don't want to support new Dungeons and Dragons products for reasons like this. As it says, arriving at the inevitable endpoint of their 2020 promise to make the game as inclusive as possible, Wizards of the Coast has officially announced that the problematic term race no longer has a place in Dungeons and Dragons. They have a history of evolving to meet the needs of our players and foster an inviting space for everyone, and with that in mind, we understand race is a problematic term that has had prejudiced links between real-world people and the fantasy peoples of Dungeons & Dragons worlds. I can't really say that I'm surprised that they're doing all this, even going as far as changing things like half-orcs, half-elves, these half-species. They are willing to go as far as possible if they think that this is going to uh, not get them cancelled. And of course, Wizards of the Coast is filled with social justice warriors who just want to push the message. And while things like diversity and inclusivity are good things, unfortunately, they just don't care about respecting the material that already exists in the products they have. This is just another reason to stop buying 5th edition products because they've been revised and censored over and over and over. There are still games that you the system that don't have these narratives out there and through a simple search you can find them so if you enjoy the fifth edition system there are other fantasy games out there but ultimately this is just another reason to not spend money on the next edition of Dungeons and Dragons which is the catastrophe known as D&D 1. Without even addressing the narratives that'll be put into it the game is nothing more than a virtual cash grab something I don't think Gygax would have ever wanted for it. I'm not that disappointed or surprised at this point because Wizards of the Coast has gone off the deep end, but they are making another major change to the game, as you can see, removing half species from the player's handbook going forward. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this and found it important and informative, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.